So how was it growing up in Iran? Because I know you mentioned that there was a little bit of a culture shock when you moved to Canada. So like, how was it growing up there and then moving? So it's very different in Iran. So the girls are all covered up. It's a Muslim country. So the rules of the country are pretty much the rules of the Islamic religion. Mm -hmm. Um, And if you're not Muslim, you still have to like, so if you come there, you have to abide by the rules, even though you're not Muslim. Okay, so got it. you would it. have to wear the scarf. You would have to be covered up. Um, if it's, you know, time that everyone's fasting, you should be fasting. But, like, all the stores are going to be closed. All the restaurants are going to be closed. So, you know, they expect everybody to, like, act a certain way. Uh-huh. And, like, you're uh, really not supposed to be, like, in relationships with guys unless you're married to them. Mm-hmm. And, like, there's very strict rules of the country. Got it. So were your parents very involved with the culture there? They were a little, my parents are very, my whole family is very like open-minded. I have a lot of family that live in Europe and before I moved from Iran, like everybody that I knew lived in America and other places. So they were more open-minded, but they just know that they have to go by the rules so they don't get arrested or like they don't Mm -hmm. get in trouble with the government or anything like that. Okay, got it. So how was it like moving to Canada and why did you move? So my parents wanted a better life for me than they had uh-huh. um, because it's hard especially as a female living in that country your opportunities aren't as equal as men mm-hmm. um even if you're going to university and stuff like my mom was telling me stories about her she would have her purse checked they would go through her purse and if she had like an extra bra or something they'd be like oh you're an escort really but she's like i'm married and i was staying at my husband's house i'm coming to like my class today you know Uh I just have to get a change of clothes in there and they they just think of the worst things Uh and it's like taboo and they could like take you to jail and like arrest you and Uh all this crazy stuff and you don't have rights because you're a female so like unless your dad or your husband comes then you're not really like you don't have a say got it you're not like abiding by the rules so when you lived there were were you able to go to school or like yeah I went to all girls school Uh uh-huh Schools are, like, separate. Girls and boys are separate. So Mm -hmm. you're not going to school with, like, a bunch of females and males. It's all girls. Mm -hmm. And, like, across the street might be, like, an all-boys school. So I'd be, like, saying hi to the cute boys. But, like, I'm not supposed to be talking to them. Like, Uh you know, I might get in trouble (laughs) or something. But, like, I like the boys. Like, hey, I'll have me. (laughs) So, Um, like, you're not allowed, quote-unquote, to have a boyfriend when you're that age. But did you? Yeah, I did. (laughs) (laughs) You, like, lived on my street and we'd, like like talk through the window and be like, okay, let's go on the streets and play at six. All right. <laughs> like, maybe like play like hide and seek. But like, it's like taboo. You're not supposed to be like, if uh-huh. the cops come up and they're like, oh, who is that? And you're, you can't be like, that's my boyfriend. You have to lie and be like, that's my cousin. Uh huh. And then if they take you down to the police station, they call your parents and they're like, oh, my daughter's with who? No, that's not her cousin. Like, oh, then yeah. you're kind of like in trouble. So uh-huh. they didn't want me to go through all that stuff. They wanted me to live in a country where I'm free to be who I am, live as I want to, and yeah. make choices as I want to and not have to. Uh-huh. So that's pretty much why they moved from Iran to Canada. So I had those opportunities that they didn't have. Got it. So what was the culture shock like moving to Canada? Well, number one, there was boys at my school. <laughs> <laughs> like a foreign concept to you it was but like foreign. <laughs> the, the funny story one time this guy kept telling me I was hot and I didn't speak any English and it was in the okay, middle so of the winter you didn't speak English coming to Canada right when no. did you learn how to speak English I think like six months into living in Canada uh-huh. I after going to school with people I had to like kind of just like learn uh-huh um bringing this example of this guy telling me I'm hot in the middle of the winter and he keeps telling me I'm hot every single day. We're like leaving class. He's telling me I'm hot. I'm like, I don't understand. I go in the dictionary. I look up the meaning of hot. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not hot. I'm I'm freezing. How does he know my temperature? I don't understand what this word means. <laughs> like, I was so confused. And then finally, once I figured out the lingo of like just different things, like raining cats and dogs. It's not actually raining uh-huh. cats and dogs. <laughs> I figured out hot meant like he's into me. Uh huh. And this was like in grade like five. I was like, okay, cool. That guy thinks I'm cute. Uh-huh. So I can say people are hot. That means like I'm into them. Yeah. I learned that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like a boy crazy girl growing up? Yes. God. Do you think that had anything to do with the fact that like you weren't supposed to have boyfriends? Maybe. 
Yeah, I never really thought about it that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Maybe this is a therapy session. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> a fun but serious therapy right. session. I think a lot of the time when you, you are, aren't allowed to do a lot of things, like the strictest parents or like the, strict, the strictest cultures bring out like a lot of the crazy in right. people wanting to like splurge and do all these things that they felt like they couldn't do the whole time. Yeah. So even when you lived in Canada, did your parents let you have boyfriends or were they like still, you know? They were still kind of, especially my dad had that like mindset of no boyfriends until like you're 18 or you're moved out or until you're married, like, uh-huh. you know? So my dad has always had that mindset. So when I had boyfriends, it was kind of like a secret. Like, I would kind of tell my mom about it, but, like, not really. I couldn't bring them, like, over to my house or anything. Yeah. We wouldn't have, like, family dinners or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, my dad refused to meet my, like, ex-boyfriend, which was from, like, four years ago, because he was like, I don't know. He's not from our culture. Like, I'm not going to meet him. Really? So, yeah. Okay. But I think I'm, like, kind of warming up my parents' the idea of, hey, I might be dating people from other cultures. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. <laughs>